PlayStation 2. Hello everyone, my name is Stephen George and I play video games. And today, I'm joined with my wife Mao, who also plays video games. I do! It's true! And today we're actually going to be uh, starting a project that is near and dear to Mao's heart. We're going to be starting a game that she's wanted to bring to Stephen Plays for quite a few years. Um, that we've just never taken the time to fully prepare and get ready. But recently, Mal was like, you know what? I really want to play this game. I want to bring it to the channel. I'm going to get all the, the stuff necessary to play it, and we're going to do it. A game where the objective is to kiss everyone. That game is Tulip. It is such a weird game. It is very Japanese. You can see there it was developed uh, or released in 2002 by Punchline. And it took four years before we ever got it. The fact that we ever got this game in the States is amazing. Because you, it's, whenever you play it, you, you realize how very Japanese it is and how... Like, was it worth their time to do this? Exactly! In fact, when it came out in 2006, it was a GameStop exclusive. Um, and that alone tells you that they didn't have a lot of high hopes for the, uh, for the game in the first place. But fortunately, we were, we were given this... Uh, pretty amazing game. Now, before we get too far along, let me say a quick shout out and a huge thank you to all of our patrons over at Patreon.com. The names of the producers are scrolling up on the screen now. Thank you guys so much. If you guys are watching right now and you are interested in learning more about Patreon and how you can help support Mal and myself, there will be a card on screen shortly. There will also be a link in the description you can check out. Learn more about how you can support Mal and myself and the perks that come along with that. So, Tulip is a very interesting game. Like I said, it's a game where you have to kiss everyone. Um, I have put in very little time to this game, almost none. Um, but whenever Mao and I started dating, she said, you got to see this game, and she had shown me a little bit of it. But you've beaten this game I have, before. I 100%ed it. And uh, one of the interesting things about Tulip is that if you do not have a guide, you can't beat the game. You just can't. Because, it's kind of tough. <laughs> well, the game doesn't do a, an adequate job of explaining what you're supposed to be doing, right? No, it doesn't. In fact, um, when they brought it over to America, their instruction manual is practically a walkthrough. Yeah, they had to put a how-to in the instruction manual because they knew that people would have no idea what was going on. Um, fortunately, uh, this game was uh, this game was kind of hard to find whenever it came out because of the limited release. Uh, it started to go up in value, but fortunately, uh, they actually released this for the PS3 on PSN. So if you guys are watching, you get interested, and you want to play it yourself or want to follow along, ten dollars on PSN uh, if you have a PlayStation 3, and uh, you can pick up Tulip, which is kind of a rarity. You don't see it uh, too often in, in used game stores. So. Are you ready to jump in, Mal? I'm more than ready. I've prepared for this. <laughs> <laughs> Mal is very ready. We are going to be doing a 100% run and showing everything you need to see about this game and doing it right. Uh, we are going to be taking turns, swapping off. Uh, I'm going to start the game off, so Mal will be able to tell you more info about the game while we get started. New game. Sorry, we're already greeted with like one of the most horrifying things in, <laughs> in video games. From the first moment you saw her, a boy and a girl from two different parts of the world, they met and fell in love. The kiss of happiness. What is your name? <laughs> There's an awkward pause there. <laughs> we decided to name him Chu. Yeah, um, there is no official name for the boy. Um, but, uh, I figured that we would just name him Chu. Um, now, Mao, this is, this is unrelated to the game. Whenever you are given the option of having uppercase and lowercase letters when you're naming characters, do you do that? Oh, I never bothered. I always do complete uppercase. Are you the same way? Yeah. Yeah, I, I have to switch it and go to a certain thing. I also, I actually kind of like how in dialogue it's like... It stands out, It then. stands out. Mm -hmm. I know that some people are like, you know, you don't use lowercase. I know, I'm sorry. Um, also, Mao, you may want to quickly explain why the game is called Chulip. Uh, Chu is like an automatopoeia in Japanese, so it's like the noise a kiss makes. Okay, and then lip is presumably just... About lips, or someone theorized like tulips, like the flower. I think it's it's more interesting to think, you know, the lips and the kiss together. You know, kiss lips. So yeah, it's an automatopoeia sound in Japanese for kiss. I see. What a name. She walks a little funny. 
What is her name? Now, um, once again, this girl does not have an official name. Um, neither character, uh, does, but a lot of people tend to name her... Her. And I actually kind of like that, because... Um, it kind of puts her on a... Pedestal? On a pedestal, you know? It's mm -hmm. like, you know, her. Um, so we're, we're going to name our main character, Chu. We're going to name the, uh, female love interest, Her. I see. Your name is Chu. Her name is Her. I mean, that sentence is a little weird, but otherwise it should be fine. <laughs> For poorer... Or hungrier... Will you stay happy together, as long as you both shall live? Now you may give her a kiss. Suddenly... Into the game! This is 3-2 Long Life Town. The sun is setting. Nobody knows where they are from. Secretly, quietly, and modestly, Chu and his father moved in. By the way, the rent is 9,000 Z a month. Father and son. There are only two people in the family. So let's make the most of our lives. So have they determined Kind of a small place. <laughs> Listen to me, Chu. No matter how poor we are, we'll always be together. Take a break, and then go say hello to our new neighbors. I'll clean up in the meantime. I don't want to. Bye, Dad. What, hmm. Do you think you're gonna get anywhere by saying, I don't want to? <laughs> I don't want to say I don't want to say hello to our neighbors, Dad. After you meet them, you may regret that. What? Rebellious stage, Chu. I don't remember raising you to be like that. So go say hello to our neighbors. Okay. What? You are going right away? That's my son. I'm so happy I could cry. However, it's sad that your heart is still weak. If your heart falls to pieces, you'll never recover. Take care as you explore. All right, goodbye, Chu. So and, this is your house. And now the game Bef has begun. Before you click anything, the door to your right that has the handle, yeah. the little window, that's the bathroom. Okay. That's how you save in the game. Okay, so you save your game by going into the bathroom. the bathroom. As a, as a quick uh, little note, I have only played almost none of this game. Whenever Mal and I uh, started dating, shortly after Mal was like, you've got to see this game, Tulip. And she, she showed me a little bit of it, but I haven't played it since then. Now, Mal has 100% of the game before. And it's really fresh in my memory for some reason. Um, so Mal is going to be guiding me along through this game. We'll be taking turns every other episode. Uh, kind of like Twilight Princess, in, in a way. Um, this is a game that meant a lot to Mal, and uh, she has really enjoyed it. It's also, it kind of has a cult following at this point. So she'll be uh, she'll be guiding us through. So there is a time system, correct? Yes, but it's you currently have no clock up, so it's not timing you. Now, is time normally run indoors or no? Yes, I'm pretty sure it does because there's a lots of places where you wait indoors and it just keeps going. But right now it doesn't. No. And the hearts. What does the hearts that is mean? That's kind of your life. Whenever things happen to you that would hurt you or make you feel embarrassed, you lose hearts, and if you lose too many, you get a game over. And then you have to restart from the last time you saved. That's pretty extreme. All right, so what should we be doing right now? Well, you could go save. You could just go to your shoes and walk out. Oh? That's what I always say when when I go to the bathroom. Oh, it's my dad. You yeah. want to use the toilet? When you go to the bathroom, your life is recorded. You should go to the bathroom sometimes to freshen up. So, open the save screen. And now we can save the game. You want to save? Yeah. Saving the game. For PlayStation 2. There we go. Chew. 
Look at you, you're sad. Why am I so sad? Because you're weakling. Oh, that's sad. You are a poor boy, that is your status in the world. Oh, I didn't mean to- <laughs> Oh, gosh. <laughs> I thought I could open that cabinet. Gracious. Oh, Chew. Have you met our neighbors? No. No, I'm working on it, Dad. Jeez. Got my shoes on. And I'm out! So there's still no clock right now. No. You can explore your yard. What's in my yard? There's some graffiti on the wall. There's some money hidden under the tree. And when you press X, you just salute. But because you're in the prelude, it may not give you anything. Yeah, I think I'm just supposed to, uh, to walk out here. Talk to the neighbors. I heard new tenants moved in. I heard they are from a big city in the west. I heard it's even farther than Funny Bone City. That means they couldn't make it in the big city? Yeah, I guess. I feel sorry for those two being so poor. I hear the son's name is Chu. A poor Chu. <laughs> uh, well, that makes me feel terrible. You gotta so. go meet them. I see. You're the kid who moved into that house. You look like a nice kid. I'm Michelle. My house is in the first district near Turtle Bath. Well, why don't you come to my place tomorrow? Hee hee hee. God, that's creepy. Nice to meet you, kid. Hee hee hee. What the balls? <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting for that. How do you do, Chew? I'm Dr. Dandy. Nice to meet you. Come to my hospital anytime. God, I was hoping he would also do that. No, it's only Michelle. Oh, that's a shame. All right, so should I just that's be That's a dead end. Okay. Do, 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 do. Why is her now, head so big? Now, you can so go big? down there. That, down that here? Way. No, towards the trash can. Can I check trash cans? You can, just like Earthbound. Big trash can. Look inside. God, if I find a hamburger, I'll just die. A cold sweet potato. That's arguably better. It does recover life. Okay. So that's good. That is another dead end. So, do I just press start to bring up my menu? Yep. No, it's a uh, square. Okay. So square Don't brings up my menu. Don't accidentally eat that. You, you want to keep that. Yeah, I got it. I'm good. Keep out. There's like... Trash everywhere? Should I go over here? You can. Just explore. I'm just gonna walk around. There's pipes. I know that, like, someone lives in a pipe or something. But I Not guess... Not in those pipes. Like, oh. most people live underground. They're, Why? like, recluses. Wait. People... There's another trash can. Oh, you can check all of them. <laughs> what you got, trash can? I'm getting a lot of these cold sweet potatoes. You can keep potatoes. checking them, by the way. Wait, what? Why? It's oh. empty. It'll sh things will fill up later. Okay. I keep moving on. Hello, sir. Oh? I've never seen you before. Kids don't have to work. Grown-ups do. I envy you. Ha. <laughs> oh? Your family is very poor? Please excuse me, haha. <laughs> I have no job. You have no money. I hope we can find a job soon, haha. <laughs> the writing is is odd. Didn't it, didn't you say it, it took it's like... It, it took, took four, four years. Four years to translate mm -hmm. this game for some reason? For whatever reason, but I hear it's very accurate. Okay. The button's currently broken. Of course it is. Do you see that sign right there, the yellow one? Yeah. Can you do something with it? Maybe later during after the prelude, but I believe it says something about farting. How do you do? I'm Mr. Cheapbot. I own the antique shop. Nice to meet you, Chew. That is my dog, Rocky. The dog Hi, Rocky. is with the doghouse. Rocky says, nice to meet you. Closed already, the store is. Come back tomorrow. And see, you said cheap pot. I thought it was always che pot. Well, it, he's surrounded by pots, and he's probably a cheapskate, so cheap pot makes the most sense to me. But, it does. So, <laughs> but you can say cheap... Oh, hey, what's up? What's up, girl? 
Hello. Nice to meet you. I'm her. I live in Long Life Town. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> the music is so good and so creepy. <laughs> hey, do you want to give me a kiss? What? Yeah, yeah, I do. Just kidding. Oh, you'd kiss someone you've just met? By the way, what's your name? I'm Chu. It's a secret. <laughs> it's a secret. Ooh, I could be mysterious. Does this do you affect anything? Be? No. Okay, it's a secret. I already know anyways. <laughs> you are Chu. You moved to the third district, the poor boy. <laughs> yes! <laughs> I knew it. So you are really poor. By the way, you've never kissed, have you? Yeah, I have. No, not yet. <laughs> I knew it. There is no way. You look so inexperienced. <laughs> oh. And you just moved here. You don't know anything. In this town, people kiss using <laughs> the triangle button. <laughs> but you can't kiss people that easily. Usually, they'll get angry. Understood? Yes, ma'am. You're poor, but pretty smart, Chu. But you are not my type. He's, she's the love interest. What should you do? Should, what should, I, should, what should I try should and do? kiss her? Oh! <laughs> Gracious. Eek, weirdo, pervert. I can't believe you tried to kiss me. What? You and I kissed in your dream? That's just a dream. This is reality. Ha! Huh. Now your heart's been hurt. What do you think you should do? Um, well, I could use one of my items, but if I sleep, it recovers, right? It does, but... The balls? As a, as a person, what would you do if your heart was broken? Who would you talk to? Uh... My dad? Yeah, go talk to your dad. Shabby mailbox. Look inside. No, oh, nothing. You will get mail later. Yeah, I, I, I figured. Bunk, bunk. Hey, Dad, what's up? You are heartbroken. However, as a person, Chu, your father loves you from the bottom of his heart. Wait, what? I just talked to Dad and I'm He made better? you feel better. Oh. What? You met the girl you saw in your dream? And when you tried to give her a kiss, your heart was broken. Is that right? That's okay. Don't worry. I have a plan to win her over. Operation Love Letter. Write a love letter using this. Huh? No! I can't find it! Better check the same box five times. My leather set is missing. Ah, if only you had it, you could write a love letter. I definitely put it in this box. I really did! I don't think you did, Dad. I, your I guess going. you're gonna have to wait until he figures it out. So now what? Go talk to more people. Doop -a -doop -a -doop -a -dop -dop. So how long is the prelude? Um, not too much longer. Okay. So I can. I believe these. they all say the same things, but you're supposed to go talk to Cheapot. Oh, okay. Someone is like, I think the Ninja Turtles are trying to escape. They're oh under there. You'll be in there shortly. Also, is that supposed to be a crow? Because it's freaking it me out. It is a crow. A leather set? I've sold it to Batian the other day. By the way, Rocky won't come home. Very friendly, my dog is. But he is angry when I'm not around. Walk slowly in front of him. Rocky, where are you? So you need to walk slowly. You need to talk to Batian. Where is that He's guy? the guy with the teeth and the guitar and the purple. Yeah, him. Whoa, whoa, slow down, man. I'm in trouble. I don't know what to do. I bought a leather set to use for my job search, haha. <laughs> However, a dog stole it from me. I'm in trouble, haha. <laughs> no! That one, he stole my leather set, haha. <laughs> Why do you keep saying haha? <laughs> Wait, you stupid dog! <laughs> so am I supposed to go chase it down? All right. So I, wait, I, wait. Do you see how the angry 
Huff marks are coming off the dogs. Yes. Okay. Yeah, dog is angry. Okay. Yes. So you need to tiptoe up by slowly pushing on the the stick. And when you get there, you need to press up X to get the little letter set, and you gotta sneak away, or you will be hurt, and you don't have much health. Got it. Receive letter set. Sneak away. Sneak. Sneak. I'm working on- I'm working my magic. I'm working my magic. So, I don't have to give it back hey. to this guy, right? He what the you balls? over! <laughs> you jerk! But yes, that is your letter set. So I don't need to give it to him. You could see what he says. He's not going to take it from you. That stupid dog. To be honest, I don't care about my leather set anymore. I want to punish that stupid dog. Haha. <laughs> okay, that's creepy. You don't have to creep. All right, I'm getting out of here. So now I can go see my dad? Yeah, and be like, hey, dad, here's your leather set. <laughs> Where'd you get that? Oh, don't worry about it. Someone Our neighbors... bought it from someone else, and then I stole it from a dog. <laughs> Our neighbors are really weird, dad. You gotta trust me on this one. I know we're poor and everything, but at least we're not stupid. Oh no, oh no. Where did it go? My leather set. It you probably have to pull it out and use it. Oh, okay. So I have to open my menu. Leather set. Use. Oh, Chew! You found a leather set! And you took it from a vicious dog? Oh, you're pretty good, Chew. I'm so happy I could cry. Now, write a love letter with that leather set right away. Right this second. <laughs> Dear her. This is gonna be good. I really, really love you, her. I love you very much. Please give me a kiss <laughs> next time. And... Dear girl, I am extremely creepy. I had a dream about you, and I just met you. I tried to kiss you, and you slapped me. Let's Steven, get married. Your love letters were way better than that. <laughs> Thank you, Mel. Great, great. Yeah, yeah. Go brag about it to our neighbors. What? Go brag about it to your neighbors. <laughs> now I have to go brag about oh, the yeah. love letter mm -hmm. I wrote? Dear God. Anyway, that's actually going to be it for today. Um, we are We are at time. Thank you guys so much for watching. I know that this has been weird, and the game gets weirder, and I know that this kind of series is not going to be for everyone, but I would urge you to continue watching because it is bizarre. It is very bizarre, and it is a game where you kiss everyone. There is a there is a button dedicated to kissing, <laughs> and we will... Don't you have to kiss absolutely everyone? Everyone. So every single person that we see, eventually, at some point in the series, we will kiss. Besides, like, your dad. Besides your dad. So, um, if you're into really interesting, weird Japanese games with really odd dialogue, I would urge you to stick around because we are doing a 100% run. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we will see you next time for more Stephen Amal play Chulip. Everyone is talking about Chu. I'm so worried about my son's reputation that I can't sleep. I'll check your accomplishment every night, my son. Let's see. Today, Chu kissed... Onion Lady. Did he? Lover's tree, lover's tree. My son successfully kissed for the first time. 